All right, everybody, welcome back to Sonic Mania. Uh, once again, picking up right where we left off, going into Press Garden Zone. Um, may I have a little bit more difficulty in this one than the previous two videos. I did not do Press Garden in the um, failed recording session, so this one's not quite as fresh in my memory. Um, but yeah, so picking up the conversation from last time, um, one of the villains in the IDW Sonic comics, Dr. Starline, is actually based on a Glint character from, uh, the Sega 32X game Knuckles Chaos. In that game, there's a multiplayer mode, and one of the characters in there is a glitch version of Knuckles. Okay, so Knuckles came up with rich, those prototype for it called Sonic Tracks that had Tails and Sonic in there. Um, Mighty the Armadillo was actually coded over Sonic. He uses a lot of the same sprites and animations. He was just changed to an original character. Um, Tails did not have an invisible one, but his beta is still in the game. So there is a... In the character select, there's a spot that's just... Like, the name is just a bunch of stars, and that is not over here. And Tails, when you load it, it loads a knuckles with red eyes that... All of the animations are broken, but it, um, but it still kind of has like tables moves that like can fly around, but it just kind of freaks out. The animations are kind of glitching back and forth and stuff. Um, but Dr. Star has felt it. But Dr. Star on in the IDW comic is actually based on a design. A lot of the visuals, the color scheme and stuff. And then there's two of his creations. Um, characters Serge Tenric and Kitsani the Fennec that were made to basically be counterparts of a Sonic Tales. Um, Serge is based on a glitch from I want to say Sonic 1, but it might be Sonic 2, that loads, um, that it loads Sonic in with the wrong tablet. It makes him green, but his face loads black, and for whatever reason, it's done the Oscar lit, I'm not entirely sure why, um, the surge was based on that. Color palette and um, Kitsunami it is based on a glitch that, if I'm remembering right, it loads Knuckles with Sonic's color palette, but the life counter of him fails. So, I think it's everything wrong. Um, I don't know how to actually do these glitches. Um, I just know what about them, but I just kind of thought that's an interesting fact because it shows, like, the level of attention to the fan base that the IDW comic writers have. Um, that they actually are able to include, like, obscure glitches like that and make, uh, to my knowledge, pretty popular characters out of them. Um, so as far as I know, I think, uh, Surge and Kit and Dr. Starline have been pretty well received in the comics, and one of the IDW comics in general is pretty good. I haven't read them myself yet. I do want to. Uh, I actually had a few issues of the art comics when I was a kid, and those things are weird. Um, but yeah, they, one of the head writers for the IW comic, though, 
is... I am going in a loop. I didn't even realize that at first. Uh, but one time I did something at the Ugly comic, he and Flynn actually ended up becoming the main writer... Oh, we're at the boss already. Uh, was the main writer for Sonic Frontier. Um, so I guess that means the second must have been pretty happy with his work with the IDW comics and stuff. I don't remember how to fight this boss. There we go. Okay, get it to break his buzz off. Thank you for hitting his tails, because he don't like me much, apparently. Alright, so you need to make it these boxes, looks like. These ones, I guess, they can't break. Oh, no, nope, they can't, and it just takes a few hits. Yeah, that was very important. Okay, yeah, it looks like it just takes like, a couple of hits to break these ones. Um, Oh, come on! I can't hit you with her all the way up there. Hopefully I can take him out before I lose too many more boxes. Right, I'm just going to use the iframes there to hit him. Uh, luckily most of the mini-bosses, the like, Act 1 bosses only take, like, four hits. Um, usually the Act 2 ones will take anywhere between six to eight, so... Sometimes the Act 1 bosses, you can just kind of brute force through the invincibility frames, like I did with the Death Egg Robot in, in Green Hill Zone. Um, so yeah. This one... Oh, wow. That's honestly, like, really creepy, though, how you can still see Sonic's eyes looking around as he's frozen solid. It's like, that's unsettling. <laughs> yeah, this one, I really like the system here and the mechanics and stuff. Kind of like a Japanese botanical garden, uh, but frozen over. It's pretty interesting. I really haven't got luck with those enemies. Uh, but yeah, and I like I like this, like pushing down the tree into the wood chipper and stuff. Well, that was unfortunate. I am on the lower path now. Uh, don't know where any of the special rings are here. Hopefully, I can find some. Again, kind of really, really need chaos temples before the final stage, preferably. Um, haven't been doing the best at finding them, or you know actually getting the special ring. I found plenty in this up in this recording session, but not really a lot that I actually got the rings from. So for the emeralds I mean, not the rings. So yeah, that's kind of the important part about this. That's unfortunate. I did not know what to do about that or that. Okay, um I don't know how to stop Sonic from jumping when bouncing off knees. Interesting. I didn't know there were ice springs in this stage that you could break after jumping on them. Ow. Uh... You know, this makes me wonder, because those spikes look like they're made of ice too. I wonder if a fire shield can melt them. Are you a thing I can go into? You look like you should be. That was strange. No, not really. Okay. That was a thing. And I froze it again. <laughs> That's kind of cool. Is that a reference to... Like statues in there that spit out like parts on the I think? 
Am I remembering it right? Is that the spit out marks that stick into the walls? But kind of that you can like jump up. I don't actually remember. I don't think I've ever made it much farther than Marble Park. Than Marble Gardens. Um, and, oh, I'm in the boss now. Okay. <laughs> Ow. Okay. Yep. This is the heavy ninja. He is again one of the hardwood heavy people. Freeze you with sword. Kind of a Um. But out. If you jump into a lot of spinning in the air, stun them and lets you hit it. Otherwise, yeah, it'll slash you with dead. I'm not doing great. Uh, his stars are royally spinning up. There we go. Oh, I could not see that. That was in the floor. That wasn't really what I considered fair. Uh, okay, well, now I need this ring. I don't really have an opening to hit him. There. I was like to catch up having to get my ring back. Alright, that actually went a lot faster than I expected, so probably gonna try and squeeze the second zone into this video, otherwise this video would barely be 10 minutes long. Um, oh, there's a little foreshadowing. Metal Sonic. Um, showing the little planet from Sonic CD and showing, I'm guessing, Metal Sonic's location, which foreshadows the new stage, uh, Stardust Speedway. So yeah, I was wrong in the previous video. I actually forgot about this, that there is one Sonic CD stage in um, Sonic Mania, which is Stardust Speedway. And this is based on the past Stardust Speedway. For any of you that don't know that never played it, um, Sonic CD has like a past and future mechanic where, um, let you go to the past and try and get rid of, um, Eggman's little robot generators to get a good future, um, and stuff like that. Okay. This gets a little annoying, I'm not gonna lie. It gets kind of difficult to actually figure out where you're going when moving at high speeds. Um, but yeah, so this, I believe, is based on the past Dark Speedway, where things are more, like, plant-based. Um, also, it's a mechanic from Marble Garden, because Holy is from there. Um, but yeah, um, yeah, so like I said, it's based on the past Dark Speedway, with the, um, like more nature aspect of it. Blitz Act 2 is more based on future part of the speedway. Um, not sure if good future or bad future. Um, I've never actually gotten that far. I was really, really bad at Sonic CD, even worse than I was at Sonic 3. Um, I don't think I've ever made it past the third zone in that game. That was unfortunate. Um, but yeah, so... Like I was saying, um... So, I haven't actually seen a whole lot of Stardust Speedway myself outside of just videos. I've never experienced all the... Why do I keep thinking those are Springs that I can jump on. It hasn't been the ball for me yet. Okay, that was just kind of rude. I will say that being past under the speedway, that this place sure is dangerous. Um, normally the past stages in Sonic CD, I think, were a little more peaceful. Um, 
the future state there was always like very peaceful. There were no enemies in those at all. Um, because you basically prevented the game from showing up. Oh, I neglected to actually hold left on that one. <laughs> that was simply on me. Yeah, um, I haven't found any special rings here yet, so that kind of sucks. I don't know if I'm just going the long, I mean, the wrong directions, or if I just have a bad eye for secrets or what, but... Kind of unfortunate, because I'm pretty sure we're, like, past the halfway point of the game. I guess boss is just a giant one of those, like, fireball things, those little guys. And it's, this one takes more hits than some of the other main bosses. It's more than four, at least. But, yeah, like all the other bosses, it's kind of abuse iframes to attack through it. Uh, that's kind of just how I do Sonic games, if I'm being completely honest. Just abuse the invincibility frames to use them to your advantage. Right. Oh, and there's, that's actually one of the robot generators, and then yeah, go into the future to uh, start a speedway. That's just a full-on reference to how the animation in Sonic CD is, which I adore. Um, I always love, like, references and fan service like that. Also, I just love the aesthetics here. Um, like, just all of, like, the grass-looking stuff and just everything looks like kind of from bones. It just looks so jazzy. Also, I love the music here. Again, the whole soundtrack for this game is fantastic. I know I keep saying that, but it's a fact that's never gonna change. That sucked. <laughs> um, I've already been down here. This is not the neighborhood that I want to be in. Okay, let's not get hit by those this time. I almost got hit by them. I almost landed on the stupid thing. Oh, okay. Didn't know they sent you in just whatever direction you're facing. Uh... I don't think that was supposed to happen. That was a little strange. Huh? Yeah. Huh. Where are we? Where am I trying to go from here? Help! Help! <laughs> These springs are not my friends! Okay, so I guess I may have to go this way? I don't know. It kind of for some reason, part of me felt like I was going backwards for a second here. It, I went backwards there, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I am back here. Okay, uh, so I know this is a Sonic CD stage. You don't really need to have Sonic CD level design. Yeah, Sonic CD, the stages were a lot more open uh, because of the whole, like, um, uh, Robot generator stuff. It was a little more exploration, a little less speed. So it had a lot more open stages, a lot of paths that it's kind of. Uh, I don't actually know what this happened there. That was a little weird. Um, yeah, a lot of stages just kind of led around to different places. Uh, 
This is another thing from Sonic CD is like these little projectors of Metal Sonic that you could find in some stages. What it? Speaking of, here's the top blue wolf himself. I don't remember him looking quite that purple though in Sonic CD. I could just be remembering wrong. I like this though as a nice little reference to Sonic CD where his boss fight was a race against him. I don't actually remember. Okay, yeah. I was about to say, I don't remember if I just have to get to the end or if I'm actually fighting him. And these are a reference to, I want to say, is it Sonic 2 on the Game Gear? These little Silver Sonic guys. Uh, there's two ways to hit Metal Sonic here. You can either destroy these guys when they're on the edge and the energy ball will hit them, or sometimes like that, when they're bouncing around, you can, um, hit them to where they kind of ricochet around and hit them. I want to say in the original version of this fight, you can only hit them with the ricochet. I want to say that they actually added the energy balls in the update. Ow! <laughs> this was an interesting thing for them to call back to. Um, yeah, it's using the Phantom Rudy car. That is a reference to Metal Sonic Kai that was the final boss in Knuckles Chaotix. So that's an interesting little callback that I believe caught a lot of people off guard. <laughs> I don't think this was the original last phase of this fight either. I think they changed that. And, oh, <laughs> okay, yeah, I don't, I've never saw that, because I think they changed that, too, um, at the time that they released the Encore update, because I think the original fight, um, you were just going in a circle with Metal Sonic, and there was just, like, this wall all the way around you. Also, that little production there is going to be important later on, so keep that in mind, everyone. Uh, for now, we're in the most divisively named, um, Sonic Zone from Sonic 3. So next time, we will continue on with Hydro City or Hydrocity, depending on how you pronounce it. Uh, I personally prefer Hydro City because Hydrocity doesn't sound like a word. Um, until then, I will see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.